Hey, good morning, guys. This is John Phillips. Let's see. Oh, look. It's Saturday morning. 1026, January 28th. Son of a bitch. All right. So what I'm going to do today in my mission to make my truck more convenient for me to work out of I'm gonna tackle this uh, this box today should be pretty easy no drawers uh, but what I'm gonna do is this is a these things work great man it's a lot of stuff it's tough to have bins uh, big enough to handle like pop-ups and all this shit so my plan is to to just eliminate these in the front consolidate stuff get rid of things that i don't need build shelves so that i can pull them out easily without having like if i need the one on the bottom it's going to come out easy but then i want to build a shelf on the on the very bottom uh so that i can keep my i've got some uh you know trays these uh these things at the walk tray right there I need to put them I need to put it in in this bin and then the next thing I'm gonna do is this is my copper bin but I hardly ever use it I need to get it over on the other side of the truck um, just because this is the, the the curb side of my truck and I need the stuff that I use all the time I don't want to be going I don't pull into people's driveways for the most part I try not to oil i don't have any oil leaks on my truck but i did have a transmission overheat one time driving you know pulling a trailer i don't know that the i ended up in somebody's driveway and the and the transmission fluid was bubbling out all over their fucking driveway right here on my circle uh so i i avoid pulling into driveways just because of that but uh yeah, so I'm gonna, I try to get my truck all situated so that everything I need is on the passenger side because that's how I pull up to the house, typically. This, I gotta, this, this is really working out good. My tools, that bin's good. Uh, like I said, I'm gonna take care of, let's see here. This copper bin, this copper bin is going to be taken apart. I'm going to put all the copper stuff on the other side of the truck and turn this into more storage, you know, because I've got, I've got a lot of stuff in this uh, bin here. Let me open this one up. Continuing with the great video quality and planning. See, that's a problem. Anyways, this is all supplies. Uh, I need to get that shit all, you know, some of that stuff's gonna go in this bin. This one here is all toilet shit. Flappers, tank of bowl gaskets. Uh, probably put my wax in there once I get it organized. Just so I have everything in that bin is gonna be toilet shit. Toilet shit. No pun intended. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, I keep my gloves up in here for, for sewer, sewer work. Uh, I just got to get this side organized, man. Look at this shit. This baby loaded down, man. She loaded down. All right, so let me get a table set up so I can pull all this stuff off and get a plan, man.
fucking pajama cam. Pajama cam today. You guys think I'm a little fucking crazy? Like not wrapped too tight? I do. I agree. Compression fittings. Oh. These are great little brushes for cleaning off stops, you know, when somebody says, oh, there's some corrosion on my shut off valve. Spray some shit on it. Scrape it off. Spray head parts, tub drains. Tail pieces, dishwasher parts. Hose bib kits for CPVC, we get this. We got a lot of these down here, guys. A lot of the houses are PVC, uh, CPVC. I've got vacuum breakers in here. I gotta figure out. Gotta figure it out, man. I got a lot of these shut off valves. Uh, for iron pipe, I don't use that shit down here. I bought them, I bought a whole bunch of stuff at an auction, plumbing shit, stuff that was returned to Home Depot. Uh, if any of you guys need some of this shit, give me a ring, we can work something out. This is a Kearney. I can't see. Fucking adapter. Fucking five bucks. Pop-up parts. Mowing shower parts. Dresser couplings. Handles. Tub and shower handles. Dish, whatever the fuck that means. Look it. Cola valvets. Fucking bunch of mowing extension kits. These plates. That plate is you can convert a uh, the the uh, old mowing trim plate to the new style. The old one with the two screws on the bottom. Closet bolts. Gauges and hammer arresters. And empty packages. 
that's where I keep them. All different kinds. If you got an ice maker or something that's banging, these things work good. This is for an ice maker. They rattle when, you know, if it's not strapped right. Every time that thing shuts off, it'll rattle in the wall. Dispose all shit. I give people a deal, man, on uh, if they don't, on a dispose all, if they don't need the new strainer, I don't put it in and I don't charge them for it. I give them 25 bucks off, man. And I'm in and out. I pop the old disposal off, put the new one on. That's it. Fern codes. I don't like the way these look. They're kind of floppy. I don't use them all that often now that I got a hold of some of those uh, mission couplings for copper. Discussions. I notice. A lot of times up in up in the north northeast, nothing has escutcheons on it, man. Don't you guys use them fucking things? Everything down here gets an escutcheon. This is this is my one of my delta boxes. I've got delta cartridges. They're kind of tricky. You got to be paying attention to what year they were made uh so you gotta have an idea of what you gotta have both basically is what i'm getting at so i'm down to the bottom of this so the first thing for me is to figure out how what i want to put in here and how So I, I got these DeWalt. I like these DeWalt uh, carrying cases. This is a uh, First aid kit, no walkie. I don't know, man. First aid kit needs to be like up in the front of the truck. that works for me and what I want to do is 
I gotta see how many of these. A little tall. Hang in there, boys. So I'm thinking I could probably stack two of these, maybe. that out so that's 18 of those bins if I put a shelf here with a little divider to strengthen the plywood in the middle and then I'll still be able to I'll label these on the end so I know what they are this is all ice maker shit you know sleeves um, all compression fittings this this box over here that's uh that's all shock bite fittings in there so I can get 18 bins in there I build a shelf just above these so that I can still slide them out nice all right I gotta do some measuring well that was quick I just need to uh, decide some of this stuff like I don't need dresser couplings I don't use them enough where they need to be on this side of the uh, truck I got another place I can store them so they can come out. One thing that I do need is a box for shut off valves, you know, all of this kind of shit. And uh, so that needs to be on this side. Like I said, I don't, I never get into one that I have to screw on, so I just need to take these out of here. They're just taking up space. That's a fucking sharp bite and stuff. It's good to go through these bins too because in the heat of battle, sometimes shit gets thrown in the wrong bin like this these these things are hard to come by save them stop tubes and honestly it just takes up less room if you take these things out of the box they're not going to get damaged in here just snug up that nut if it falls off it ain't going anywhere anyways I don't like these, I never use them. I always stubbed out houses with two shutoffs. This just needs a new gasket. Parts. Parts is parts, man. A couple of guys have asked about these. These are actually mainline. 
it's for CPVC and if you have a bad stop all you do is take this unscrew the stop this this will be inside here this is what will be left coming out of the wall you just put a new gasket in and the new stop and that's it on a on a toilet or wherever under a, in a cabinet so these are this is a main line I don't know if there's a number I can't see a number on it oh yeah right there fucking clear as day maybe you can read that I can't that's main line brand <sighs> like I said we've got a lot of a lot of CPVC. I stocked the shock bites uh, because we also have a lot of PEX, man. And I'm just not going to, you know, stop breaking out the PEX gun to change a stop. Uh, I've got all of that shit, but it's just easier. I don't have an issue with them. They fucking work. I'm not going to, you know so easy to replace something with a shark bite valve. So I need to organize these so that I'm not having to fish through. I, I Like I'm looking at this and I don't know what I have. And on these I just buy all chrome. I don't buy the rough brass anymore for like under a cabinet. The price is the same for chrome within a couple of pennies. So it's just, you know, when you're doing that, you gotta minimize your choices. Like the fucking, like the breakfast Nazi. You get what I give you? No rough brass stop for you. Chrome only, or go fuck yourself. Uh. So in this bin, I've got shower heads and spouts, different kinds of tub spouts, which I'm gonna actually have to separate them. Uh, there's a bunch of different tub spouts that I have to stock in there in this other bin. But this is tub waste parts, pop-up parts, spray heads for kitchen sinks, relief valves, uh, one half inch 125s, three quarter inch 125s, water heater reliefs. I've even got water heater drain valves in there, uh, mowing shower valve parts, uh, handles and stuff, dishwasher parts tub drains another box of tub drains so I'm gonna have to figure out what I've got I use these uh, schedule 40 this is a nice this rapid fit I use this on tubs it's fairly cheap uh, I used to pay about seven or eight bucks for this damn thing but it comes with the test kit which I don't use but uh, it's a good good kit And uh, let's see here. Looks like it's got a knockout in the center. Never, never actually used this. The one I used to get came in a box, but I guess that gets knocked out. But that's uh, I like the one with the two holes rather than the one with the one hole because that gets in the way, man, when you're trying to rot out a line. So these, I don't need on my truck. And I've got a ton of them, man. I was gonna mail them to fucking old Stevie boy up there. Yeah. Oh, that's a shark bite. That's, that's big money. That's what I used the other day on a toilet real quick, man, on CPVC. Pull that out. You gotta be careful, though. There's a subtle difference between one for PEX and CPVC. 
Yeah, you gotta read the fucking fine print on these or you could put the wrong valve on. See, this says copper, PEX, and CPVC. They do sell some that are for PEX only or some different for polybutylene or something. So just always be paying attention to this. It could cost you, man. You don't want a valve blowing off and flooding a fucking house. That's that's a plumber's worst nightmare. Uh, yeah. One inch CPVC. This shit's old. <laughs> so there's a box full of stops. These uh, these boxes, guys, are really cheap, man. Especially if you order them by the case online. You know, get yourself 50 of them, man. You'll use them. I've got them everywhere on my truck. And, uh, you know, it can get crazy with all the shit, but there's a certain degree of madness on a plumbing truck that you're never going to get away from. It's just too much shit, you know, we're trying to stuff a fucking 400 foot aisle of Home Depot onto a truck, basically. And uh, it is what it is. Do the best you can. So I like this, man. I am gonna stack a couple more right here. Might as well take care of that. I mean, I might as well use this space, I have it, you know? And I like this because I can just pull it right out onto this, this workbench door. So I'm in good shape, man. A lot easier for me to deal with this stuff. I'm gonna go through each bin now and separate them, make sure it's all cleaned out and I don't have all the shit in there. That was very simple. One piece of plywood, half inch. I put a three quarter inch board here to, to support the center of it, to keep it from belly, uh, bellying down. And uh, I'm gonna screw it on the top. And then I'm gonna put a piece of, uh, piece of that aluminum angle iron to keep, keep the bottom from moving around and eventually breaking. Uh, and then I need to put a strip here. These things, these things will stay they shouldn't the top box shouldn't come off but I do want to put a little strip here in front of these things to keep them the whole thing from sliding if I go around a corner I don't know if you saw all that yeah I'm gonna put a strip all the way across here just a little speed bump for these things and I had to trim this board down to get it in a 40 48 inch sheet a uh, 48 inch wide piece would not fit uh, I had to take a half inch off to get it in here but it worked out great and I'm just gonna put a wedge I'm gonna measure a piece over here on this side and fill this gap uh, keep the keep this thing from moving around but uh, another bin organized and uh, I'm happy happy with it man hey guys little tech tip leak detector for toilets just buy buy some of these things they're relatively cheap and I just fill up a bottle from like a windshield washer uh, bottle or something windshield washer fluid and I carry this shit with me and I just make my own it's cheap and uh, this green stuff works pretty good man so I just keep a bottle on the truck. I've got a gallon jug already mixed up and uh, works real good. Hey guys, I'm gonna show you how I make custom sockets for different uh, things that I have to do on a regular basis. Like 
tightening up the uh, supply hose on a toilet. Sometimes it's tough getting the, uh, you know, your channel locks in there. If you can make a socket, make one. It's easy. Just heat it up with a, with a heat gun. You don't want it, you know, it doesn't matter if it turns black, but if you're going to try to do it, you might as well do it right. Heat it up real good. Get it pliable. See, that's pretty pliable. Turn this off. Take your supply hose, stick it down in there, and then just jam this sucker right down on it. Just like that. Custom socket. Let it set up. You can turn your, your heat gun on to cold and open the vents wanted that thing's already hot I mean uh, already cooled off I'm sure see that perfect for hooking up the supply hoses that I use man boom now I'm gonna cut this thing off to about as big as my hand and that's it money you can't buy that tool guys Sometimes you gotta make your own shit, make your life easier. That's badass. This thing will go in my toolbox. Maybe I'll paint it a different color. But hooking up toilet supplies now is going to be a matter of dunk, dunk, dunk. Easy. I could do another one instead of that. I've already made one for the basin. I mean, for the... Uh... I did this for for uh, ball cocks. The nut on a ball cock. I just put a couple of... Gr I ground out some... Uh spots for the uh, wings on those nuts and uh, this works good for me it's kind of heavy and uh, what I like about these plastic tools man is if you drop it it's not going to crack a tile or chip a tile uh, easier to carry in your tool bag and I may I may take go get a bigger piece of pipe and try to make one of these out of plastic right now see how it works Alright guys, so I'm going to try to, you got to custom make these to the parts that you use. This is for a Fluid Master uh, Pro 40 or something. Uh, that's what I use for ball cocks when I replace them. So I'm going to try to make a socket out of plastic. I mean, this thing works great for me, but if I can lighten it up, get this out of my tool bag and make one of these, they'll both go together, make them the same size. I've got my sockets for toilets, so let's give it a shot. I'm going to heat this up, I'll get back to you when it's hot. Alright guys, we're getting close here. This thing's pretty getting pliable, I can tell. I'm just going to try to push it over the top of this. Oops. didn't work guys I'm gonna have to cut the notches in it looks like yeah I'm better off cutting cutting the notches in it so let me go do that my notches in here should be plenty there's a little bit of play on those so I'm gonna go ahead and just heat this inch and a half pipe up and that's what you're gonna need for these. All right, I think they're getting hot, hot enough now. Give this a shot, man. Ow. 
simple. It didn't go out too far at all, but it's a socket, you know? It's gonna fit. Just let it cool down. Now I've got two tools. Like I said, I'm gonna I'm gonna cut the end of this and I'm gonna spray paint them so that they don't get thrown out thinking it's a scrap piece of pipe. And I can just store them together. Just put one inside the other. Doesn't look like much, but it made a it went out far enough to grab that nut and it's just gonna make putting them on easier. I mean, if you really wanted, if this is too big, the inch and a half, or you wanted something a little, you could reduce it down. But uh, this works for me. So now I got my tools for putting in a new, uh, new ball cock, man. Nice and easy. Bada bing, bada boom. Now it's a light, lightweight tool. This weighs nothing compared to this tool. I can put this back in my toolbox. Uh, so I'm good, man. That's how you do it, boys. Make your own sockets. Can you imagine if mechanics went at shit with pipe wrenches and channel locks every time? You need to make sockets like a mechanic. Uh, plastic is a great material to use. Uh, you'll sh typically you'll be able to find a piece of PVC pipe that is the appropriate size for the tool you're making and the best thing about these things is they don't hurt when they fucking drop on your face they don't chip tile and um, there's another reason why I'll think of it you know I think I'm getting dementia guys the onset of dementia but uh, yeah this thing just the ticket man all right guys so I'm all done with this uh, bin I'm very happy with it I've, I've eliminated a lot of the stuff that I had in here uh, that I don't really use I had boxes you know I've got shit full of backflow kits you know repair kits the ball cock pots they need to go in uh in the in this toilet bin you know what i mean once i get this straightened out but we're making progress i got three three bins squared away this is my tool bin uh this right here is just some easy supplies and this workbench attachment on the side of the truck really works out great i may uh i've got a little vice that that i may mount right on this and uh, it won't be in the way. I'll still be able to close the the, uh, the door and I won't have to, I'll always have it there if I need, instead of having to find it and put it up, I've got a couple portable ones with, you know, you have to use like a vise to, but I may put a vise on this because sometimes, you know, you need it. So this one, got china caps and some plastic closet bolts that I need to use up I bought a bunch of them I went to them for for a few seconds and then this one's got the real bolt the closet bolts that I use uh, it's a Johnny bolt I believe or Jones Stevens and what I like about these is they it's uh, comes with an extra nut and washer um, so you can actually bolt it down to the flange and it's going to stay there. It's not going to be flopping around. I keep my shims. These are, who's the manufacturer? Braxton Industries or Braxton Harris Company. These are the uh, closet shims that I use, which are critical in setting a toilet properly. If you're not shimming, I said once, uh, you know, if you're not using shims, if you're going to use anything, use a piece of old lead, you know? Look at that stuff. The fucking hose connection. Shock bite. What the fuck? Uh, yeah. Just use lead, man. Fucking hammer it down till wait till it's where you need it. Then you can cut it off with a, with a chisel or putty knife and a hammer. Anyways, I'm good with this one. I'm going to close the door on this bin. And, uh, 
That's it. I did put a piece of wood on here. Keep these guys from coming forward. They should be fine. Very happy with this, guys. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you learned something today. My next project is this bin. I'm probably going to get rid of these shelves and put some pull-out um, wood drawers in this one deeper. And and I can easily take you pop this cap off here this retainer and these doors will will have full swing open uh, I want to I want to be able to pull these out to look for shit it just gets to be a mess you know and then if I'm in a hurry I start throwing shit back in here and it gets a mess so anyways this is the next target critical that I get this one straightened out